Hello guys, welcome to a pressure vessel fabrication course. This is a preview class. Uh, let us start with what is a pressure vessel. Pressure vessels are carefully fabricated enclosed containers designed for the purpose of holding either gases or liquids at a significantly different pressure than the surrounding air pressure. What is that? This is the basic definition from the ASME section 8 manual. We are designing the pressure vessels by using ASME manual. In this course, the major topics which are covered are the types of pressure vessels, design standards, uh, the fabrication drawings and details. That is one of the main aspect. Then the type of materials which we are using, the quality control documents, what all documents we have to develop and uh, follow for the fabrication. Then different fabrication sequences and activities type of welding, NDT, it's a non-destructive testing part, then testing, testing of the pressure vessels, surface preparation and painting, then some industrial examples and fabrication videos. So this is a major outline, but I will cover all these things in detail. Let us see one industrial example of pressure vessel, that is crude desolder. What is a crude desolder? Crude desolder are used for separating salt content from the crude oil. Now you can see this is one of a typical crude desolder. It's a very huge one. Let us understand the general arrangement drawing for this crude desolder. Yeah. This drawing is called the general arrangement drawing. You can see the crude desolder elevation is the plan view is there. We can go into some details. As you can see the both sides there are caps. These are known as dish heads. Dish heads of pressure vessel. And on the right hand side you can see the design data. Over here you can see all the important data which are used for the fabrication of this crude disorder. The design code, as I mentioned earlier, it's ASME section 8. The type of disorder, the type of pressure vessel, mainly there are two types, horizontal and vertical vessels. Then uh, the NB registration, that is a national board registration, if it is required or not, yes, it is required. Then ASME certification, whether it is required, yes, it is required. Then the type of the description of this uh, disorder, that is, this is a second stage disorder. Then how many quantity, uh, then what is the design, that is the main aspect, design pressure. What is the design pressure of this crude disorder, internal, external, all details are given. What is MAWP, that is maximum allowable working pressure, how much it is that. Then uh, post well heat treatment, whether it is required or not, yes, it is required as per UCS 56 uh, code. And all other details we can see in the design data. If you go down, there is a title block. On the left hand side, you can see the elevation. As I mentioned earlier, these are the dish heads. This one, this two. Uh, this is the shell portion. You can see the shells are divided into different, different portions for fabrication. <coughs> Each of these uh, shell coils are fabricated separately and they are joined by welding. You can see nozzles over here. This big one is the manway. Typically it is M1, M2. The number will be M1, M2 and the size, size of the manway is given. This is the size of this manway. And there are nozzles. Now in this particular pressure vessel, these are forged nozzle. You can see the nozzle name and nozzle, nozzle length. These are the saddles. Again, this is another manway, another nozzle, and this is the lifting trunnion. This is another manway. So this is the elevation, and let's see the plan view. This is the plan view. Here you can see the saddle 
over here and this uh, plan view means top view, top view of uh, the particular saddle. This is a side view that is view way we can see here it is already marked the view which view have to look. So, from this side it will look like this. You can see many more details over here LS that is long seam uh, which uh, we will mention in the upcoming classes. These are the nozzle. These all things will be uh, discussed in the future classes. This is the nozzle schedule, the nozzles which are here, what is the name, what is the size of that nozzle, how many quantities, what is the type of the nozzle, everything will be mentioned here. For example, this is M1, M1 is a man wave, what is the size, size is six, NB600, otherwise you can deep, the size is 24 inch, we got 3 quantities. And this is the rating, the class, it is a 300 class man wave. The flange which I use is 300 class. There are uh, different nozzle numbers for example this one, these are 2 inch nozzle. The class is 300, it is LWN, LWN means long well neck nozzle. So, this is the nozzle size and nozzle details. Here you can see the numbers nozzle M2, M1, M3, J5, J4. For example, J4, if you want to see what is nozzle number J4, uh, just mention nozzle number J4 is DN80. Here you can see J4, it is 3 inch nozzle, schedule 160, the pipe is schedule 160 and 300 rating, well like nozzle. Like that in this drawing, uh, everything is given in very detail. These are the long seams, LS7, 7A. LS99, these are long seams uh, which are mentioned. Uh, this is a typical example of a GA drawing. Now, uh, the detailed drawing will come for that, that means each and every part will be given in uh, much detail. So, guys, this is the preview class. I hope you understand uh, the major topics and what we are going to learn. Thank you.